There are four main approaches for aspirating or injecting the knee. These include the medial retropatello, lateral retropatello, anterior and suprapatello approaches. The anterior approach is particularly useful in patients with advanced patellofemoral osteoarthritis, where it is often difficult to find a medial or lateral space for retropatellar injections. This approach is also useful in patients with knee contractures. It should be noted, however, that there is a greater risk for meniscal injury using this approach. The anterior approach is demonstrated in this video. Anterior injections are done with the patient sitting with the knee at 90 degrees and the lower leg hanging off the bed. This is the lateral tibial plateau, the medial tibial plateau, the patellar ligament and the tibial tuberosity. Identify the tibial plateau by sliding your thumb upwards and into the joint space, as well as the edge of the patellar ligament. Using a retractable pen, mark a point about one fingertip above the plateau to avoid the meniscus and one fingertip lateral to the patellar ligament in the soft spot. The injection can also be done medial to the ligament. These injections should always be done using sterile precautions. A no-touch technique is used, meaning that once the area is cleaned, it must not be touched with anything but sterile needles. Scrub the site and then clean in an outward fashion. Here I am using a mixture of 2% chlorhexidine and 70% isopropyl alcohol. Alternatively, you can use providing solution followed by alcohol. Local anesthetic can be applied to the skin and subcutaneous tissue down to the joint capsule using a 25 gauge needle. But experienced clinicians may forego this as this is usually a very fast procedure. Here I have a mixture of 60 milligrams of Depometrol mixed with 2% xylocaine without epinephrine to a volume of 5 mils, and I am using a 22 gauge 1.5 inch needle with a bevel facing upwards. Advance the needle gently through your mark. The needle should be held parallel to the tibial plateau and directed medially to an imaginary point in the middle of the knee between the inferior aspects of the femoral condyles to a depth of about 3 cm. You will feel a give as the needle breaches the joint capsule. If bone or cartilage is encountered, you should withdraw slightly. Always aspirate to ensure that you're not in a blood vessel. Then inject the solution. This should go in freely. If there's any resistance, then withdraw and adjust the needle to avoid injecting into tissue. Finish off by drying the site and applying a bandage.